Our lead rope still coming through. And as you can see, we've got Mackenzie Brown, Locker. Let's go, Tiani! Here we go. We will be the Division Three Southern Section Champion. The fastest runner in the country this year, both on cross country and track, running very well. Good job, here. good job. The sophomore from Dana Hills gives his Southern Section Champion. section division one champions great oak high school continues a tradition of excellence not seen here in the southern section throughout its history our ladies here coming out on top first and foremost ladies congratulations again Thank you. when you guys put this uniform on obviously the expectation level extremely high how do you guys continually in big meets and pressure situations go out there and execute to the level in which you guys were able to do here today um, I think we all just do it for each other and we want to keep the legacy going so I think we have that in the back of our minds and it's really motivating for us. Now this is the eighth consecutive Southern Section Division One Championship for this particular program. When you have a run of success like that, that means that not only the past is great but the present is great too. And you guys have heard all the great names in Great Oak history. How do you guys go about establishing your own legacy by accomplishing things that you guys are able to do here today? I think that we're really able to establish our own legacy for every individual one of us and also this generation. But we just really focus on what we need to execute on that day and running to the best of our ability, especially for our team. And I think, especially with the way that we all finished today, with five runners in the top 15, we really are focusing on our team this year to keep up that legacy and really put forth our best. You guys talked about focusing on the team there. Now, Audrey, you had the fastest time today but the scoring gap was 13 seconds. I'll repeat that again, 13 seconds, which is absolutely phenomenal between one and five. <laughs> Seeing that level of dominance in terms of being close to the front is something that you just don't see very often. How have you guys kind of taken that challenge to say, hey, it doesn't matter who's in front. As long as we stay together, we can have a lot of success. Well, I think it really reinforces the idea that our, our team goal is um, really important to us and that as long, um, even if we finish different orders every time, we're still accomplishing something great together and it's really nice to know that we have some great depth this year and if some of us have an off race, we can still um, perform well in the races. That's a fact that Coach has repeated several times that the ability to have depth and have different girls step up is important. As you guys get ready for the next challenge, it's obviously California State Championships. Another meet where you guys are expected to win and continue what has been a dominant run of success. How will you prepare off of what you guys were able to do here today to get ready for that next challenge? I guess um, believing in our teammates. We have to believe in our team. If we don't believe in our team, then we won't be number one. We have to believe in each other, and that's what we've been doing so far, and our team has been amazing. Well, the formula success has been one that California has not seen. Um, again, congratulations to Great Oak High School, our Southern Section Division I team champions for 2019.